According to Bloomberg, Twitter is being sued by the employees over Elon Musk's plan to cut 3,700 jobs, which is about half of the workforce. They filed a class action suit on Thursday in San Francisco Federal Court, claiming that the company's decision to reduce workforce is in violation of federal and California law. The petition has cited the Worker Adjustment and Retraining Notification or WARN Act, which prohibits large companies from eliminating jobs without at least 60 days of advance notice. In their lawsuit, they have urged the court to issue an order asking Musk to obey the WARN Act and restrict the company from forcing employees to sign documents that could give up their right to participate in litigation. On Thursday, a Russian-installed official in southern Ukraine said that Russian troops are likely to retreat from the west bank of Dnipro River in Kherson. The official urged civilians to leave. If the retreat indeed takes place, it will be a setback to the Russian side. There was no immediate reaction from Kremlin, Kyiv government and Western military analysts remain cautious, suggesting Russia could be setting a trap for advancing Ukrainian troops. Today, a day after being shot at during Pakistan Tehriki in South Australia in Wazirabad, former Prime Minister Imran Khan, who has been admitted to a hospital, said that God has given him a second life. According to reports, Khan received multiple bullet injuries on both of his legs. Shortly after the incident, he was taken to a hospital in Lahore. Yesterday, senior PTI leader said that Imran Khan believes that the attack on him was carried out on the orders of three people, including Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif. The newly elected UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak was seen selling poppies at the Westminster Tube Station in central London recently. His appearance at the Tube Station surprised daily commuters. As per reports, PM Sunak had joined several army personnel and civil servant Stephen Leroux to raise money for the Royal British Legion's annual poppy appeal at around 8am on Thursday. In a picture shared by MP Andrew Stephenson on Twitter, Sunak can be seen holding a tray full of poppies and talking to commuters in his brief appearance. 